Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm back, baby. We're back in it. Well, not, not really. A lot of people have been just asking me for my thoughts on Krunker season six. Yeah, I never thought I'd be saying that. So by the time season five came out, I was probably 12 years old. And look at me now, I'm 24. I got a wife, a kid. I'm just happy that season six was finally able to be released on a, a good schedule. So I'm just gonna glaze over everything and uh, you know, just share my little thoughts on it. Cause you guys apparently wanna hear this garbage. I Why? I don't know. Here we go guys, it's Krunker season six. Let's see, what are we? Oh, a battle pass with a Fortnite battle. But you guys got the Fortnite battle pass in this shit? All right, season six. Sign in to use Battle Pass feature. Oh yeah, that's right, my account's um, Advent Calendar. You guys spelled calendar. Oh, I get it, because it's Krunker and it has a K in it. That's so clever. I saw people talking about this. Pretty much, it's just an advent calendar, uh, as the title would suggest. But if you miss a single day, you're kind of screwed. So whatever is at 25, it better be something good, something worth it, but I'm not obviously gonna do that. New account has been made, locked and loaded. Let's check out this battle pass. Ooh, okay, we got a, a free battle pass and a paid one. What do we got here? The KRPD Stalker. It's a cool skin, that's a cool skin. I remember there was talks about a battle pass way, way back to season three and it's just finally here. I don't really have a problem with battle passes at all. Like they're definitely getting their money up with this cause it's $7, it's not a lot. What they've really been implementing and what I've been seeing um, just from just glancing over this game is they're just putting a lot of retention style rewards. So they're racking up on the bundles, the VIP tier, but also the advertisements just from people consistently coming back to the game, which is incredibly smart. I mean, it's a business after all. They gotta make their money. They also added this zombies mode, which um, it's kind of like a mix between raids and Call of Duty zombies, but it's not really Call of Duty zombies because it's it's really like a defense game. It's kind of like 3D balloons with zombie perks and power-ups and weapons. But God, we're already starting off with the hot takes. Uh, the replayability on this, I don't think it's that great. Well, I mean, once you get wave 100, which I think is when you get that tome book, that really ugly, unobtainable, really just disgusting looking. It's It doesn't look good. I, it's an unobtainable, don't get me wrong. Like, that's cool, but it's just, it's gross, man. If there's not any more rewards after this, which I'm sure there is, and I, I at least I hope there are, other rewards to grind for, but even then, I, I feel like this will get pretty repetitive after a while. However, I do like that you have to play with a squad and you do have to cooperate in some aspect, so I am kind of happy about that. But for me personally, I'd rather just play pubs, which is kind of uh, kind of silly for me to say, no pun intended, uh, because it's, it's repetitive. I mean, this whole game is pretty repetitive, if that wasn't clear already. Sweet, we made it to round two. Exhilarating. <laughs> Exhilarating gameplay. It's hard not to compare this to Call of Duty because they have different perk machines, but the level of danger that you're put in, it, I'm holding the D key right now. This is, this is not scary at all. Plus you're in an open field, you're not gonna die. Like if you go, can you even go down in this? Like, if you go down in this, you are just straight up garbage. Oh sweet, we got 2KR. Maybe we should start a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> it looks like they added five unobtainables. The Attack Drone, the Esper, Forbidden Tome, Esper, and Zenith. This is the one you get for beating the zombies. It looks like someone shat bubblegum on a Magic the Gathering book. All I gotta say, man, is there's, there's just so many cool skins in the game. All people are looking for is this rainbow icon around them. Honestly, this Esper SMG, I, I've seen some cooler contraband SMGs than this. It is just a rating system after all, but it's gonna be a matter of time before they have a tier above unobtainable because there's just gonna be so many unobtainables in the game. I know they also added two more maps as well as a new class, which I have played and it is a lot of fun. So, I mean, overall season six, it's a, it's a good retention update. It's a good retention season. I think this battle pass ends in 80 days. So season seven's coming in 80 days, which is a lot sooner than um, the pretty much the year and a half that season six took. Now I saved the juicy stuff for last and uh, I'm just gonna say it how it is. I don't enjoy playing this game anymore. <laughs> I just don't. There was a period of time when it was a lot of fun uh, playing the game, but that was like way back in 2019. And then when I started making more videos on this game, it was a time where there weren't any updates coming out. There was nothing interesting going on. So I decided let's just try to stir the pot a bit. 
let's try to have some fun, make the most out of um, absolutely nothing that was going on in this game. So I hope this channel really was a, a good source of entertainment from a stupid IO game. There was a lot of goofy stuff that went on, especially with the community, and that was especially what I like to talk about. The amount of bullshit that happened, whether it was people hacking, people whining, uh, people calling other people out, all over a goofy little block game. Now, I'm not just going to completely close the book and burn the bridge and saying, oh yeah, I'm never going to touch this game ever again. Uh, if something really crazy happens, like especially with the community, um, I may make a video on it. I may not. I'm not going to pull like a, if I get 2,000 likes, I'll come back. I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's just, that's just so stupid. So when I want to, I will make videos on this game occasionally. And I never really thanked everyone that started watching this channel because of these videos. Because once I started making Crunker stuff, that's when I started taking YouTube... I don't want to say a bit more seriously, but I started allocating more time into it. And if it wasn't for the positive support on it at that time, which I found very valuable, and I still do, I don't think I would have continued doing it, but thank you guys. And with that being said, um, new Kirker video next week. Alright, see ya. Subscribe. <laughs>